Hi, I'm Ben Roberge. Uh, this is TJ Hurd, and we made uh, an FM uh, synth. So uh, TJ's going to show you a little bit about how it actually works. Yeah, so it's called a sound designer, where you can kind of design a bunch of different sounds. We have a full um, octave keyboard that's 13 notes. Um, a screen that shows you like what your settings are, and then um, three rotary encoders where you can change the settings. So on this first screen, which is main settings, I can change the output volume, make it louder or quieter, um, change the octave. Um, I'm going to make kind of a malady sort of sound. Um, so if I press two buttons, I can go to the next screen. These are the waveforms. Um, some of the options are sine wave like this, uh, square wave, sawtooth, just a noise. Um, I'm going to stick with the sine wave, um, increase the FM volume, um, and then I can also change the ratio. So maybe I'll do that. Of FM to? Of FM to the main, main frequency. Main frequency okay. yeah. um, so to get the plucky sound, I'll go to the main envelope. Um, this is where we change all the, um, the attack, decay, sustain, and release for each of the notes. Um, so if I bring the sustain down and make the attack really short and maybe increase the decay a little bit, I can get a plucky sound. There it is. Uh, let me increase the volume a little bit. So if I go back to the main page, um, increase the volume on that. last setting you can change is the FM envelope, so that's how the, the frequency modulation changes over time. Um, it'll be hard to tell what this sounds, so maybe I'll make the sustain longer, and then um, bring the sustain down on the FM envelope and increase the attack and decay, so you should hear the envelope come in, or the uh, FM come in and come out. Make it a little bit longer so it's a little more obvious. Okay. Very cool. So now, now change it to kind of a different thing. Change it to a really low frequency FM so it makes kind of a weird... A weird wobbly sound. Weird sound. wobbly sound, yeah. So let's do that. You can bring the octave down and then also bring the um, FM ratio pretty far down and get more of a... I don't know if I can bring the uh, sustain on the uh, FM envelope. <laughs> Get some weird noises. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can make quite a range of sounds then. Yeah. I've heard you playing with it quite a lot in here. It looks like it's pretty entertaining. Yeah, we got some pretty good basses, um, yeah, some cool, cool tines kind of sounds. Um, yeah, there's a lot of options for that sound. Okay, thank you.